Alright guys, today we're going to go over tree... Level order, I think. Level order traversal. Yeah. Have not done this yet. Um, actually, I did do this problem, but like... I haven't gone over it on YouTube yet. Okay, so today we're going to go over tree level order traversal. So when they say level order traversal, it means like each level. So in this case, um, let's say your tree looks like this. It's going to go level by level. So from left to right. So we have one. Then um, we have nothing here. And then we have two, right? And then we have nothing on this side. Then we have five. Then we have nothing on th these sides. And then we have three. Then we have six, right? Because they're on the same level here. And then we have nothing on the left side. And then we have four in the end. So to do the, to do this problem, um, it's actually not that hard. I don't know if there's a recursive solution, but I know there is a um, breath first search solution. So. I'm going to just go over breath first search, how to do this breath first search. All right. So here's what you do. We're going to run breath first search and we're going to just push the current node. Um, yeah. We first going to push, uh, we have a queue called line, which is going to represent like the line that the order that we're going through for each level. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to push, push the current node of the root on it because that's what we're going to start at. We're going to start at one. We're going to push that. And what we're going to do is we're going to check while the line is not empty. So if the line is not empty, then we're going to continue printing out the values in each, in each level. So here's how it works. Um, first, we're going to get the first node, which is from the first line. And what we're going to do is if it's not null, it's not equal to null, we're just going to print out the data of what it is, right? the data of the node. Okay, the first line, if it's not equal to null, we'll print out the data. All right, then what we're going to do, we're just going to push the uh, the left side and the right side. So we're going to push the node on the left and the node on the right. So what I do is I have to check if it's not equal to null, then I could push it. So that's why I do that here. Um, yeah, so if it's not equal to null, we'll push the left side, first left. And then after that, we check if the right side is not equal to null, then we push the right side. So yeah, then we push left side, we push the right side, and we keep doing that, push left, push right. And then after we push left and push right, we're gonna pop. So we're gonna remove the first value of our list from the first value. Now we're just gonna continue doing this over and over again. And then each time we get the first value and then we print the node, the node's data, and then we have spaces. So the reason why this works is if, uh, I could just show you guys an example and why it works. Uh, hold up. Explain why it works. So, let's say I have this. Okay, let's say I have this, right? All right, what we're gonna do is we start at the top. One, we add this to our queue. So let's actually call this the queue. This is our line. Okay, we have add one. And then, um, what does it do? We add one, and then if it's not empty, we're gonna do, we're gonna print it out. So we're gonna print out the first value. So it's gonna print out one. Okay. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna push the left side if it's not null, and the right side. So the left side here is null, so we don't do anything. And then otherwise, we gotta push the right side of two, so we're gonna push two. Okay. Um, then after that, we pop it. So we pop this as this is off, and then we go to two. All right, we get the front of the two, so that now we're gonna now we're here, okay? Now we're here on this level. Then, um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna on two's level we're gonna print out two because it's not null, so we print out two. All right, we print out two of our current node, and we gotta push the left side and the right side. So left side is null, so we do nothing. Right side is not null, so then we're gonna push five. So push five here, and then after five. Um, yeah, after we push the right side, we pop it, so then we move two, so two's gone from our queue. So yeah, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the five. So what is five? So now we're here. So now we are here. At five, we're gonna push three and six, right? Because that's the left side and the right side. So we're gonna push three and then we push six. Uh, I'll, I'll go to this side. Push three and then six. Then we're gonna pop five, so pop fives get popped. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, while we're, we were at five, we print out five, by the way. So, yeah. 
and we pop five. So now five's off, and then now um, we get the front of the node, which is three. So now we're at three. Okay, now we're at three. We're gonna um, print out three, so it's gonna print out three. And then what we do is uh, we gotta push the left and the right. So what is the left? The left is um, null, so we can't do anything. Then we push right, which is four. So we push four onto the stack, not stack the queue, push four. Okay, um, then after that, three is popped, so we move three, three is popped. And then now we're gonna get the next node, which is gonna be six, right? Six is gonna be the next one here. So now we're here. Now we're at six, we're gonna just push left and right, and, our, and left and right are null, so we, we do nothing. So here, we do nothing, and then at, at the end, uh, we print out six. So now we have one, two, three, five, six, right? And then after that, we just pop six. So six is popped. So now when six is popped, um, we go to the four because four is the next node on the queue. So now we're at the queue of four and we push left and right. Um, left and right are both null, so we don't push anything. And then, yeah, at the end, we pop four. Uh, we got to print four though, print four. Then we pop four and then four is gone. So yeah. If you look through the nodes here, we have one, then two, then five, which each level, then we have three, six, and then we have four. So yeah, this is what we have. So yeah, that's the reason why this works is because um, if we run breath first search, it actually goes onto the previous line that we had and we pop those. So yeah, that's how you do this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.